As an international student, we tend to think that we have some barriers that may be limitation. Like some barriers could be maybe like linguistic difference, cultural difference, or even personal differences. But know that each and every one of you has something exceptional to offer. And I'm sure that the university wants that. You know, you shouldn't compare yourself to the achievement of others. Um, but compare yourself to where you were, for example, a year ago and how much you've grown since then. And I think that really puts into perspective how much you've changed and how much, you know, university life, undergrad, grad, whatever, how much that changes you as a person, and allows you to develop as a person. So you have to not think graduate school as a destination, but just as a tool for your career pathway or professional life. Um, you need to think clear about um, what you as a person can grow out of that. Actually, my identity as an international student helped me look for ways to be an advocate for them. So I, the first thing I did as I arrived at UFT, it's very big and intimidating, so I was a bit scared. And I directly went to the Center of International Experience so I could talk to international students and volunteer at something, help. <laughs> so what I did is I helped um, graduate students um, break those barriers, those linguistic barriers. So it was for them, uh, helpful for them to adapt to, to Toronto, but also helpful for me because I was new to the city. So yeah, break those barriers and let yourself shine, basically. <laughs> How does my identity as an international student shape my decision? I did my undergrad at UBC and then moved to do my master's here. Um, I think for me, uh, Vancouver, when I first arrived here six years ago, uh, it was very scary, very new, coming straight out of high school. But it, I really managed to create a community for myself. And I think Vancouver real, really allows for that. Um, if you're you know, willing to, as Vicky said, you know, volunteer for stuff, get involved in clubs, things like that. Um, yeah, that really helps. Um, but yeah, I think the city is is very much uh, a great place for international students to go to. So yeah, I don't think it's necessarily a bad idea not knowing what you're doing at this point. Um, but this at this point, you should sort of start seeing what really interests you and what you want to do. Um, and I think grad school is a w great way to achieve that because don't forget, you can get into grad school and then move around, right? Um, you don't have to stick to the degree you're doing. If you figure out halfway through grad school that, oh, this other you know degree that I want to do or that I'm interested in seems a lot more interesting. And now that I've learned so much more, I have more of a focused approach to, to what I want. Um, yeah, you're more likely to get what you want out of out of grad school. But on the other side, I wouldn't just apply without knowing because at the end of the day, it is a financial commitment. It is a, it is a time commitment and it is stressful, right? It's not a walk in the park. Um, so it, it should be something you want to do. Um, but yeah, I think that sums it up. The advice that I gave to current international undergraduates. So I think one and most important advice for me is that don't, uh, don't ask for agencies for help. I know a lot of people were thinking about applying, they were contempla contemplating and they, they were afraid to do that because they think um, the applications ask for a better person or the imposter syndrome that Vicky was thinking about. Um, what my suggestion would be that no one knows you better than yourself. And also if you're just worry about grammars that being an international student who are not excellent at English, then there are a lot of UBC professors far more better than the agencies who are just using Grammarly to sharp your resume or whatever. So um, my one and only suggestion is that do the application yourself and struggle and you will grow a lot after you complete the process. <laughs>